Hey, what's up everyone? This is Shravatsud and I'm here to do a Photoshop tutorial today. Today's tutorial is actually based on a concept and today's concept is a wallpaper and uh, I mean a conceptual wallpaper and by that I mean Batman wallpaper. Look at that. Isn't it sexy? Huh? I made this like last year or so and I thought to do a tutorial today. So let's get into the tutorial. First go to file and create a new document I'm just gonna go with uh, my usual 1920 by uh, 1920 by 1080 and hit ok and I'm just gonna get uh, the other PSD uh, let's see yeah this one uh, actually this has all backup pictures that I need and so I'm just gonna drag it out here and just gonna drag. and I'm just gonna delete those brushes and yeah. so the backup only contains this picture and I'm just gonna turn it off and this another texture that I really don't remember where I got from so I'm just gonna download I'm downloading it I'm getting this one so the, by the way I'll give you um, both the pictures so don't worry about it and the brush set too though I don't uh, own any of these things neither this lens flare it's by psdbox.com so you get it from there so let's get and create a gradient first I'm just gonna choose a really dark gray first like and the color is 0c 0c and 0c you can see here and I'm just gonna Create another color, a slide less dark, and its color, its number is 3C, 3C, and 3C. Hit OK. Now I'm going to select the gradient tool and make sure it's on linear without any uh, reverse or other stuff. So let's hold it here, hold shift, and we're going to drag it up so we have a gradient like this. Now I'm going to turn this off place it up here make sure it's on soft lights and now er, and make sure it's on soft light now let's create a new layer get a brush let's change the color to defaults and I'm gonna right click get that brush set out it's um, where it is pattern brushes by whatever append I'm gonna append it right here and we're gonna choose this with 468 one okay now what I'm going to do is first I'm just gonna select a soft brush with the white color I'm just gonna size it up and just need a spot now go to I'm going to normal and I'm just gonna go soft light Okay, so it gives a nice spot to it. Now let's create another layer. And now here comes the brush work. Select the brush, size it up as you want. I'm just gonna size it to 500. And actually, I guess it's the last. Oh, it's 900. Sorry, guys, 900. And I'm just gonna paint it with black. And I'm just gonna create some like five copies of it like uh, by using shortcut control J so we have to do five Batman brushes and what I'm going to do is select this select all and control T for bringing the transform tool I'm just gonna drag this till there and you can see the angle is negative 15.62 and yeah and now I'm just gonna control G to group these I'm just gonna name it my logo and I'm just gonna uh, go and make it center so this uh, to center this logo hit control A to select the canvas and select second and fifth icon make sure you are using the move tool now hit control D to deselect it select this and I'm just going to turn every brush now what I'm going to do is filter blur 
and motion blur. Is, yeah. So I'm just gonna go for 15. It's actually it's a bit less. And then again, let's go further. Blur, motion blur. Uh, I guess 48 is a pretty good night one. Now let's go here. Control T. Size it down a bit. Actually, let's first change the color of it. So let's control click here. And let's select a less, uh, a darker gray actually. I'm gonna just choose a color 191919. But you can use whatever heck you want. I'm just gonna. Uh, control click the second brush and alt backspace and now what I'm going to do is control T and size it a bit size down a bit okay so it's with it with is 93.09 percent and height is 93.11 percent okay so I'm going to hit the check mark for that and now we're gonna go here to filter and uh, blur and motion blur again but this time we're going to choose a little less like 34 it's pretty good and now we're going to do it all the same so I'm just going to choose like 2b 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 control click alt backspace control z and control t to size it down And let's go filter again, blur, motion blur, go for like 24, pretty good. Let's go here and change the color to less darker again, as always. And this time, nah, three, I'm just gonna choose 363636. Three, six, three, six. Alt backspace to fill with the foreground color and size it down like this. And this time I'm going for a filter, blur, and motion blur again. And this time I'm just choose 14. And, and the last one we're not gonna give a motion blur. So let's go here, change the color. To uh, six zero six zero six zero, control click, alt backspace, control D to deselect it, and now control C, and let's let's actually do this. So we have total five brushes with five different types of motion blur. Now what we are going to do is add this picture on it. So let me change it to normal. Oops, not at all, but normal. Okay, so I got this from Google. You can get any picture of Batman you want. And I'm just gonna set it to overlay. Oops, come back. Now I'm just gonna place it right here where I like it. Actually, let's see, like size it down, size it up, I guess. So I'm just gonna place it here. Okay. Now, what we, you will be thinking? What the heck? Uh, it's not even good because we're gonna mask it. So select this layer and select this third icon right there with the hole in it. It's gonna make a mask. Now we're gonna go for brush select the soft brush and I'm just gonna size it up but with my bracket keys uh, left bracket keys you can size up with right bracket and size down with uh, left bracket so let's choose a black color and just gonna rub it yeah as you can see it's coming good right so yeah I just erased all it. Oh, yeah. But 
I feel I should bring that button suit. If not, it's gonna look good, right? Actually, let's do it. Yeah. So here we go. It's created. Now, to give a bit of bumpiness to it, or whatever, <laughs> we're going to select this ellipse tool, make a new layer, and we're going to select a really light uh, color. Its color is DF, DF, and DF, and just make an ellipse to it. I'm just gonna make the opacity a lot less, like 35 30 or 37. I'm just gonna make this drag it here, and I'm just gonna do like this, and for the control T, and I'm just gonna rotate it right there, make it like this. Actually, let's bring out this one here. And like that. So, what I did is um, bring out the smallest one, hit Alt to make this only on the top of this one, this smallest brush, and did this to it so it can cover it up. Okay? So let's make the opacity a bit less. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's make the opacity of the picture a bit less. Like 78% is pretty good. Let's default. Now we're going to go and make a beginner to it. So let's go here, create a new brush uh, later. And I have some packs which I got from Stick It. Let me see how they did okay so these are the settings that I used let me let's make one by myself let me okay let's go to move to delete now go to image oops there new there gradient and and I'm going to just go for here and let's reverse it Let's change the scale to 150 make it radial and we're just going to change the angle to 30 so it basically looks like this giving a glow on here so let's make the passive bit down let's control or shift E to you know make uh, merge everyone everything into a separate layer let's create a new layer go to brush again and what I'm going to do is make it again a bit bigger, make a small spot, well, make it softer, and make it soft like this so it looks better. Okay, and I know it's looking a way to, it's not looking like this, I know that, but oh. It's different so whatever I just need to get this lens there here so let's drag this lens there actually um, let's go file open I have this fresh, uh, a pack or lens blurs, which is by um, PSD box. I'm just going to select this one. I'm going to drag it here, and let's change this mode, mode to linear dodge add, and let's size it down a lot. So like this. You can place it where it wants. I really don't you care about this. Um, yeah, it's pretty okay. Let's add a mask to it. Go brush, size it down a lot again, and I'm gonna. Oops, don't need to add a mask. Okay. Delete. So what 
I'm going to do is go to brush again uh, and select a bluish color that is really oops really the same to it I guess this is same uh, it's color is 284F7F hit ok I'm just gonna size it up with the square bracket um, right square bracket and uh, I'm just actually it's okay let's change the color to 20B 5DA and I'm gonna paint it right here or where we want let's change it to soft lights and uh, let's change the capacity to 20 a kiss right so actually, let's drag it out So yeah, thanks for watching this video guys. I'll meet you next time. Peace!